I have a little bit of sand in the paint on the floor, but uh, an epoxy, but it's not uh, quite enough, so I put the rubber down. And uh, they get a little better grip on this rubber. Good job on ya. Oh my goodness, look at these rascals. Look at these guys. So Anya's staying in nice shape, really good shape. She's eating good. We got I got her on the goose or the duck. We got salmon and duck and pork and beef, turkey, lamb. So they're eating good. But the duck has helped a bit because it's got a lot of fat in it. It's kind of a fatty bunch of duck I bought. Pretty good. Calms them down a bit too. So they like that fat. It goes right into the pup. It's good. You've got to run a fair bit of different proteins on these milking females. No roughage on a milking female at all. Zero. Yeah, these guys are doing good, boy. Nice big pups, really growing good. Phenomenal dogs. And they're, uh, they're super active. They're, they can motor around good for their age. Novas can really smoke around too. Pretty amazing. I just did a video on Novas. I had moved them into here, did a video and do this video on Anya's. Then I'm going to take that other crew of Lunas and go for a hike. They're, they're machines already. So they can cruise around the mountains with me, those guys. Yeah, these are good, uh, good pups doing good. Here, it's up here, it's up here, buddy. It's up here, there it is. Go ahead, go ahead, there you go, buddy. There you go. Celsius on the floor, and so it's very, very comfortable for them at the floor level. Little, like it's, it cools a little bit when you stand up, it's not quite that, but the floor is always nice. So they never have to worry, they like to lay flat out. and these guys will be outside. The weather's still nice, holding good, sunny today. So yeah, so I'm taking that crew of Lunas up the mountain. I won't get far, of course, they, they're just little guys. But uh, they're pretty stout, boy. And they follow along. And I'll tell you, there's one that might give me a little hassle, but the other four, boy, they're like glue, they're just right there. One who kind of goes a little ways, but... I had the folks from Idaho, BJ and Jonna, come up uh, yesterday, the day before, and picked up Anna. Wow, it's a phenomenal dog bed, Anna. So she's on her way to the Snake River. She's helping guide down there now. It would be a fantastic dog for them. Yeah. They, they got a really good dog. That was an amazing but these pups here, boy, this is some serious group of dogs. These are old world hunting dogs, these guys. Yeah. Russ and Beth have Rico down south. Phenomenal big boy. That's the father to this litter. And Satu raised Rico, of course, over in Finland. Aussie's the breeder of Anya, and uh, some incredible dogs in the background of these pups, just incredible. 
I saw Thea when I was over there, and Anya's mother, Lisa, too, but Rico's, uh, Rico's uh, heritage goes back through Thea, one of Satu's top females. And Faya is a triple champion. She's a bear hunting champion, a moose hunting champion, and a show. Um, what a what a, an astounding female. So that bloodline runs in here. And of course, um, Lisa is Anya's mother. She's a Finnish bear champion. <laughs> Full tail girl boy. Wow. And Anya's dad, Rasmussen Itu, is a Finnish. Uh, well, no, let me see if that's uh, the grandfather. That's, that could be the grandfather. He's a Finnish moose champion. The father of Anya is a moose champion, too. Back in Anya's heritage, not far, there is a Nordic champion, Yamtan, too. So he has won his championship in three different countries. Um, so yeah, the very best of the Swedish Elkham blood runs right here. And I was running a bunch of the jam tons yesterday. There we had them all cruising around. That's quite a feat. Look at these guys, milked her dry in about a minute and a half. Another two weeks, I'll put them on feed. i put them on feed at four weeks. So they'll get some ground beef, ground pork, ground chicken, ground lamb, turkey. No roughage for pups. Just vary the proteins on pups, feed them all they can eat. I feed a couple, three times a day. By the time they're six weeks, seven weeks, I'm just feeding them morning and night. Anna, when she left, was eating a pound in the morning, a pound at night. She was 24.5 pounds at 16 weeks. Solid muscle. Hike all day. Wear me right out. She could track me. If she lost me, she would track me. Unbelievable. Uncanny dog. Yeah. So these guys here, there'll be some serious hunting machines, these guys. Very good dogs. Super nature. Very personable. Great pups. Well, on you, that's pretty good. They'll all crash right there now. They'll all sleep right here. I'm going to call her a video on it. On you, good job. That's a good group of pups, boy. Uh, oh, it's okay, on. Okay, coming out? All right. <laughs>